Hello friends, my name is Real Neil, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 2. Today we're continuing on with the Retro Saloons with this, the BMW E28 M5. I believe that's the chassis model of this, the E28. So this is the first BMW M5, which is... Ooh, it's raining. Cool. It's the first BMW M5, which is quite an interesting fact. Oh, some class the E12, which was the M5... 535i, I believe. Some would argue that that's the first M5, but this is the first true M5. This was the first M5 called the M5. So basically what happened is in 1983 or 4, they'd, some engineers decided to throw the engine from the BMW M1 supercar, which had previously been made into the M5, or the 5 Series at the time. Basically, it has the chassis of the fastest available version of the 5 Series at the time, which was the 535i, and it has the engine from a BMW M1. And that's it, really, and it's a fantastic car, and it started a huge revolution towards sports sedans, and yeah, it's become the pioneer of it ever since. Well, I wouldn't call it a pioneer. But I would call it definitely probably the most recognisable sports saloon in the world. I love cars with stories like that. When they're sort of patched together with bits from old cars. It's like the M1 BMW. I don't like the new 1M. I don't... Is it M1, 1M, something like that? The car I think they've got rid of now, thank God. Because I hated it. But I did quite find... I found the story behind it fascinating. It had like... The rear axle of the original, of the previous M3, and it had the engine from a previous generation M3, and it was basically a mi mix and model of parts, and it ended up being a super fun to drive car. I hate it, but you know, whatever. Uh, this, at the time of its release, was actually the fastest production sedan in the world, which is interesting, to say the least. Uh, which way are we going? We're going this way. Weird circuit, this. I. Nice, I like Nice, but there's it's a bit confusing to drive around, you know, you'll find some odds and pods here and there. But yeah, I mean, my favourite, I do quite like the M5, I love the secrecy of it almost. You know, you can't really tell an M5 from a normal 5 series unless you like look really deep into it, which is quite cool. Favourite generation is the E39, which is the one which was released in 1999, I believe, and it ran till, well, the, do, 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 is it E60? I'm not too sure. I, I'm not very good with BMW chassis names, you'll have to forgive me. I know some, you know, I know the E36 and E92 and all that, but M5s, I'm not too familiar with the chassis names of them all. So, yeah, last episode I didn't really speak much about the Sierra Cosa. So, I thought this episode I'd speak a bit about the M5 and actually give you some proper history on the car. Uh, it's in a paint job at the moment. I found this on this storefront again. It's I just typed in racing and picked this one. It's a pretty cool paint job, this. I don't actually know if it's an official paint job from somewhere. It looks like it is. I don't know if it was used in touring cars or something. I believe M5s were used in DTM as early as this. I'm not 100%, but I believe they were. Yeah, the M5 is a very respected member of the Super Saloons, I guess you could say. And I mean, he's gone through some transformations over the years. This particular one started with the engine from the M1, for example, and that continued for a little bit. Uh, and then they switched and matched some engines. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The... Was it... I want to say the previous generation M5. The one before the new one. God, what was it called? It was like the E60, I want to say. I don't think that's it, though. But that had the that had a V10, which was quite awesome. They turned it back down to a V8 for polar bear saving, like, but, you know. For a brief moment, it was quite good. So, this car came out originally in the first DLC that was released for Horizon 2. It came with the... I can't remember the name of it. I, I generally can't. I, was it Pirelli, maybe? I'm not 100% who sponsored the first car park. I missed that. 
There was the one with the Clio and the F-Type, which, yeah, was probably my favourite car from it. Probably one of my most used cars in Horizon 2. I don't know, I just gravitate towards that car a lot. Uh, and when I first drove this, I used it in the retro saloons thing like we're doing now, when it first came out. And I've got to say, I wasn't too impressed with it. It didn't handle particularly well. It was a very oversteery car. Uh, I actually... <laughs> I have tried doing this commentary twice. I first time round, I just messed up halfway through it. No, I wasn't a particular fan of it. I, I'm driving like crap in this thing. I do apologise. I'm gonna go on bonnet cam for a bit, mix things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I have re recorded this twice now. I wasn't too happy with it, but I did the full build and everything for it, and I cited that I kind of wanted to eliminate the oversteer a little bit. I kind of have done, uh, can I show you? No, I presume I can't. Anyway, I've tuned it up a bit. It was, for some reason, race suspension seems to make it quite hard and quite low, so I've sort of heightened the ride height up a bit, softened it up a little bit, and it seems to actually have killed quite a lot of the oversteer, which is good. This definitely seems like a better car. But what I want from you guys is down in the comment section, uh, experience thoughts, people. Can you please give me some tuning tips, I guess? Because I kind of have a rough idea of what everything does. You know, I know what camber is and I know what toe is and all that. But I'm not 100% on how it can negatively or positively affect the car or anything. So I don't usually go messing around with all that. If someone could sort of just do some basic tuning tips on, you know, how to remove oversteer in a rear wheel drive car or how to decrease understeer in a front wheel drive car, it would be greatly appreciated because <laughs> my tuning skills very limited I, I can mess with diff and I know what I'm doing with that I can mess with brakes I know what I'm doing with them and I know a little bit on the suspension I know the springs and all that but the rest of it's a bit mystical to me so yeah anyway this M5 isn't actually half bad to drive I do like this paint job I really do. I, I'm not a particular fan of the yellow tinted windows. I, I don't quite get them, but yeah, I mean, it's quite cool. I, it's quite a fun car to drive this. It's a little twitchy. You saw it earlier. It twitched out on me a little bit. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's not a particular bad car, this. It's quite fun. And across the line in uh, the original M5. Uh, I was going to use the 90s M3 for this, which is a car I really do quite like. Not the boxy one, the... Oh God, is it? E30, I believe. I wanted to use that M3 because that's my favourite generation, but I think I'm going to save that for a Forts 5 video because that car's in Forts 5. It was quite oversteered last time I tried it, though, so I'm not quite sure right, how it's going to be like. You can either meet up at the Nice Messina hub and we'll head back out on the road trip, or you can head over to the Nice Ferry Port, where we've got a boat coming to take us to Isola della Tempesta. I... He said more than he's supposed to. I didn't really hear it because I had turned down the volume on my television when I'm playing this so it doesn't echo across. Can we get something good from the wheel spin? Ooh, a car. Okay. Uh, I've, I've had quite a lot of them. I'll add it to my garage, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I think this has been a bit of a short video, so I'm going to take the drive down to the outpost. And yeah, I mean, this M5 isn't too bad. It's fun, definitely. If you haven't tried it out, I would, purely because it's a legendary car, I guess. Uh, you can also put an interesting engine in it. You can put a 3 litre inline 6 in it. I'm not quite sure what car that's out of. The, if you know that, again, down in the comments. It's 320 brake horsepower, which makes me think it was from the... Subaru Impreza WRX, the 2011 one, but I don't think it is. Right, I shall throw all these championships on the screen at least while I do the outro. So anyway, friends, I hope you have enjoyed watching. I hope you've enjoyed the BMW M3 5 even, and I hope you've enjoyed our little history lesson. <laughs> anyway, friends, until next time, farewell.